the two best things for small hive beetles. A solar wax melter so that every time a hive beetle lays eggs, they get cooked in the daytime. Hive beetles fly at night and they search for the smell of brood, pollen, and just bees, warm bees. Well, the solar melter heats up all day long and it sends out that scent of all the pieces of burr comb and drone brood and stray brood comb or whatever you've got in your hive that you need to melt and um, heats it up and turns it into good wax and sterilizes it too and you can put your frames in there too and they'll sterilize your frames. Sun can even get rid of nosema, sunshine, the UV rays. They're really good. Solar is an answer to keeping your beehive clean. Do not throw your comb on the ground. Always put it in a five gallon bucket. You see I keep those around. Um, anytime that you have old burr comb or whatever, make sure you store it for the melter. And the greatest thing, as I said, the melter is a hive beetle trap. The best one there is. Because all the hive beetles are going to go there to lay eggs at night. They can't resist the smell of that warm comb heated by the sun. It smells like a hive. They go in there, you crack it, let them in. They can get in places bees can't get. So they go in there, lay their eggs, the eggs get cooked. The second thing is, I believe, nematodes. Because in this entire apiary, I only saw one hive beetle today. And I attribute it to the fact that a hive beetle cannot reproduce in my apiary. Because when they fall out of the hive, they hit that mat, they have to crawl, and birds see them, toads see them, and lizards see them, wiggling across the mat. And then they have to make it to the soil, and once they get to the soil, they hit nematodes. The mat keeps it moist underneath, and perfect for the nematodes, and dark, close to the surface. And so, the nematodes fall right in and become dinner for the nematodes. I mean, the small hive beetles fall right in and become dinner for the nematodes. So, that's just what I wanted to tell you about. And, uh, I hate small hive beetles. I really don't like them. They were here for 20 years now. They came in 99, right about the time Checkmite was put on the market. And they discovered that the Kumaphos poison wasn't effective on, on um, Varroa Destructor. So, instantly they said, guess what? It's been improved for small hive beetles. We said, what in the world is a small hive beetle? Well, you'll see them pretty soon. And sure enough, we started seeing them. And they love humid weather. They love heat. They like it in the shade. They like it in the sun. They prefer in the sun because they like it warm. I haven't had much trouble um, with them in the sun or the shade. Either way, when I had them, they were all just getting... They were equal. Equal problems. Um... I have, there's no way that they could be any worse in the sun or shade because the high beetle doesn't care. It just wants any place it can get. Um, oh man, look at that. This vine is going into the hive. How funny. Okay, enough of that. Enough of that. I'm just trying to help out with the small high beetles. Really think you should get a solar melter, make yourself one, something. Really helps. And I do think the nematodes are really something if you got a few hives. They're cheap. About $30 or so. And mine have overwintered in zone 7. I've got no trouble with them.